What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about six must-try foods in Bergen, Norway. You know, I actually reacted to Bergen a while back, and in that video, I got to appreciate... I appreciated all, basically, the amazing beauty of the city, the geography around it, the, the, like, history, and the beautiful buildings and scenery. But today, I want to take another look at Bjergen, and this is all about food, <laughs> which, you know, has gotten me a little excited. It's about food today. Six must-try Norwegian foods in Bjergen. Um, you know, if I've learned anything, it's that Norwegian food is a lot more different than I ever thought. It's a lot different than... American food, uh, more different than I thought it would be. And and not just because there's more fish and other stuff. There's just, there's been some weird things, man. Anyway, that's kind of what makes it interesting for me, though. I'm glad that it's so different. Uh, anyway, let's take a look. Uh, enough speculating. Let's take a look. Food, cool foods to try in Bergen, Norway. Good morning. From a brisk Saturday morning here in Bergen, Norway. We just got in last night and I'm on my own today. Steve is somewhere around the city shooting a best things to do in Bergen video and I have different ambitions. Mine is to find some food. This yeah. is a free spirited day of trying to stuff my face. Let's go. Okay. When it's not raining, the city of Bergen is about as picturesque as it gets. Yeah. It's positioned on a convergence of fjords in the North Sea, backed by a steep forest mountain range and the icon- I mean... Look at it. Look at it. it. It's always, it's incredible. Every time. Iconic Old Timber Wharf area is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There's a lot of beauty in this place, but today, my focus is on the food. And for that, I start, as usual, at the public fish market. Yeah, I knew there'd be fish. Oh boy. I'd really have to open up my, my palates, my taste to the opportunities available in Norway. There's a lot more diverse selection of food, especially fresh food. So the king curve is done. All right, I'm at the fish market. Holy, look at that crab. Sea urchin. So the king curve is done. Look at this thing. That thing could tear your head off. It's so big. All right, I'm at the fish market. I'm gonna get some salmon based on recommendation. She tells me I gotta, get, I gotta get the salmon. So I'm gonna get salmon sashimi. So I'm gonna try the organic salmon sashimi. This would be good for me. It's simple, salmon. Uh, I, I, this would be a perfect starting point for me as someone who's a little <laughs> scared. <Yeah. laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, it's raw. <laughs> it's it's raw salmon. I thought they were maybe gonna cook it. It can never be that easy. Uh, something about it does look appealing, though. Um, plenty of Americans eat sushi. Lots of Americans love sushi, actually. This this is basically sushi, raw fish. Oh, I haven't really tried it in America, but I would try the Norwegian uh, salmon. <laughs> Alright, down to the fish market. I went with the organic salmon sashimi. It's a 149 for the organic. It's 99 for 100 grams for the regular farm salmon. You can't do the wild salmon as sashimi because it's actually frozen. So this is a beautiful piece of salmon here. 100 grams is about six pieces. So let's try it out. Wow. That stuff, that looks so fresh. How fresh can you get this fish? Was it caught yesterday? Oh yeah. Buttery, delicious, fatty. Ooh. That is very, very good. Mm. Now, okay. if you're looking to eat something substantial on more of a budget here in Norway, that usually means one thing, sausages. Here we go. Give me the sausage, please. Just give me a sausage. I'll be happy. That's something I'm I'm familiar with. 
and it's probably made out of like a reindeer or something cool. So for that, I head over to a local landmark just down the street. All right, so here at the, uh, how do I say the name of this place? Trekuna. 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 Three kroners. Three kroners, okay. Trekuna. Three kroners. Oh, it was? Yeah. But that's a long time ago. Prices have gone up a little. <laughs> are you guys from here? Yeah. And are they the best? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> He's just interviewing random people on the street. They're very nice though. If these are just Norwegians, uh, they're being very nice. <laughs> Meat sauce. Which ones do you guys get? Jagwurst. Uh, Jag, uh, Jagwurst, uh, yeah. okay. This is the first time I'm not drunk. <laughs> really? This is usually... Uh, this is open in the night. Oh, it is? So this is usually the late night? <laughs> he comes here at night. Wow. Yeah. Thanks guys, thank you. So this is cheese. That's lamb, reindeer. Oh, you can get lamb. As well, I don't think I've ever had lamb in my life. It's kind of a delicacy in America. Uh, just hot chili, or is this cheese? Yeah, and, and bacon. Cheese and bacon, okay. Try one, uh, the reindeer? The sausage. <laughs> Would you like the traditional topping? Yes, please. That is huge. That's like over a foot. <laughs> Again, uh, maybe that's normal in Norway, but we don't have sausages that big in the United States. Uh, it'd be very, very, very rare. And I do feel like I'd have to try the reindeer, just because I'm okay with trying animal meats. But, um, I'm a little more hesitant on fish for whatever reason, because I'm American. But I'm okay with meat, so reindeer kind of intrigues me. All right, I got this reindeer sausage with the traditional toppings, which are fried onions, spicy mustard, and lingonberry sauce. Looks good. This is reindeer. I've never had reindeer before. I guess yeah. this place is an institution. That's what the local guys were telling me when I was asking them. So let's give this a try. This is a massive reindeer sausage. Yeah. Oh, it tastes like a kielbasa. A little, not even that gamey. I'd say a, a little hint of almost like deer or venison. The sweetness from the lindenberry sauce, the crunch from the onions, and a little bit of kick from the mustard. Yeah, man, I would try this. So it's not like super gamey because uh, I have had deer before and it is distinctly different than all the other meats. Like we basically only eat beef and chicken in America and nothing else, basically. So, ah, this would be so interesting. This is a great, great combination. Oh man, this is so good. Oh man. It's making me hungry. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. I'm gonna go get another one. And the- Yeah, it was only $7. That is so cheap compared to what I would expect. Are reindeer just it, like really common in Norway to be making um, sausages out of <laughs> out of them, because uh, a reindeer there are no reindeer as far as I'm aware in America. So if you like uh, shot and killed one and made sausage out of it, people would be like, "What's wrong with you? You killed a reindeer? Are you crazy?" <laughs> but in Norway, it's just normal. Third must try Norwegian food that I want to show you here is actually back at the house. Okay. This is cozy. Hold on, I'll be right there. All right. The third thing that I want to show you is actually back here at a verbal. This is one of the most popular things that is just quintessentially Norwegian, and that is brown cheese. Brown, oh, the brown cheese. Oh my gosh, the brown cheese. Brunost, if goat cheese and caramel had a baby. This brown cheese, I was, I was telling some other friends about brown, brown cheese the other day, and I was like, would you try this Norwegian brown cheese? And they, they said it sounded disgusting. 
mostly just based on the color. It's hard to get past that psychological barrier because we do not have brown cheese. If, if, if cheese is brown in the United States, that means it's rotten. That means something has gone horribly wrong. Or Brunost. Brunost, I believe I'm saying that correctly. And this is actually a byproduct of making cheese. They take the whey from the cheese production, they caramelize it, they cut it into these slices, and it turns into this very interesting, sweet, almost caramel smelling cheese or subset of cheese that's very popular. Usually it's served on toast with butter, sometimes with jam. You know, I wonder if you could sell this in America as like a business, because it's so different. But Americans love cheese, so I feel like a lot of them would be willing to try it. And you could just, it's a whole sector that's untouched in the United States. Brunos. Uh, I like it even on sandwiches that we've had over the last couple of days here, but it is very rich. Very sweet. Sweet. And it has a, a, a slight gummy consistency, but not in a bad way. And you can get these in any grocery store pretty much around Norway. We've had a couple packets so far. This one is called, I'm not even, Gouda Brand. <laughs> Sino sweet. It tastes sweet. I like, I don't know about mixing candy taste with cheese. That kind of makes me a little disturbed. Oh, oh, sorry. My Norwegian is uh, non-existent. But this cheese, it's really good. All right, number three. All right, now I got to get ready for dinner. Let's go. Whoa. Before dinner, I have to take advantage of this perfect weather and head up the funicular to Floyen for sunset. Oh, I think I've seen this spot before where you can see the whole city. That is so cool. Wow, no, roll it back. Here we are. Crazy. Oh, sunset. All right, ready for dinner. <laughs> I met up with Steve. He has been working hard all day finding the best things to do in Bergen. And now we're going to go to a traditional Norwegian food restaurant called Pengvinen. I believe that's uh, Norwegian for penguin. They're said to serve up some traditional dishes. So we're going to go eat. Ah, traditional Norwegian food. This little unsuspecting spot was actually recommended to me by you guys on Instagram. So oh. thank you for that. It's a small pub with draft beers from local microbreweries, and their kitchen serves up traditional Norwegian West Coast dishes made with local produce and producers, as well as seasonal line caught fish. Norwegian West Coast dishes. Does that mean, depending on where you are in Norway, the different parts of Norway have kind of different cultural dishes associated with them? We sit at the bar and order a few staples. Thank you. That's good. Right, we're going to start with Lobskaus. Lobskaus, rustic stew with smoked pork and root veggies. Okay. The traditional dish here. What's that bread stuff? That giant cracker he has. He has like a bread with it? This here. It's got shredded pork. Root vegetables, served with flatbread, all the pork is so good. I'd probably like this, to be honest. It, it, it's fairly normal to me. <laughs> that is very good. It's like delicious corned beef, salted pork, potatoes, carrots, some greenery. Really good. It, it really is like a stew. Uh, but on a plate. Very hearty stew. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Fish pie. Fish pie? <laughs> this is where I would start to get a little nervous. The fish pie. There is no fish pie in the United States. I've actually never even heard of a fish pie. Uh, we got meatballs, lingonberries. Here, uh, the meatballs. The meatballs I think I've seen before, 
And yeah, that, that looks delicious. I, I'm totally on board with a meatball. Smash peas, potatoes. <laughs> Oh, baby. Delicious, moist meatballs. Looks good. The fruitiness of those lingonberries, the same I had for the reindeer earlier. This genuinely looks good. Smash peas. Okay, here we go. The fis fiskegrateg. Fisk fiskgrateg. Fish o gratin casserole with macaroni. Fish with macaroni in the shape of a pie. Man, never heard of it. Mm. You like it? Oh yeah, that's really fish. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fish? <laughs> Very buttery. Oh my God, look at this, it's just all fish. It tastes like a massive crab cake with just butter on the bottom. Are these like traditional Norwegian foods? Like, are these a little out of the ordinary, even for Norwegians? It's not like Norwegians are eating this stuff every night, right? This looks pretty fancy to me. That's good. That's great. Thank <laughs> you. Ooh. All right, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tiny little peek of Norwegian cuisine. Did you like your meal tonight? Mmm, I love fish. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good day. So we had some reindeer, some salmon, some meatballs, some... I got introduced to lingonberries, which was delicious. Lingonberries. That's a whole other thing with the berries that I've never ever had. That's it. I'm excited to see what else I can try on the rest of this trip. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. See you guys on the next episode. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I, I liked how it was like a ride along with him through Bergen. This was by Gareth Leonard. I liked that quite a bit. Um, what, do, what do the comments say? Even as a Norwegian, I still get blown away at how expensive our country is. Well, I thought that reindeer sausage was actually very reasonable. Seven bucks for like a gigantic sausage um hi i'm from bjergen but live in new zealand i just want to tell you you managed to capture my city amazingly it was so authentic and real yeah i liked the i really liked the restaurant at the end and like the stand the sausage stand uh really like a just sitting in the the city in the in the street i thought that was pretty cool um the food is fantastic i'm happy to see others like norway but we eat it every day, so we don't think about it that way. Exactly. Exactly what I was wondering. Um, this is all totally new. Most of this stuff is genuinely new to me. And extremely exotic, looks expensive, and very fancy. So <laughs> it would take a long time for me to get used to it. And I feel like it would, get, it would take a long time for me to get used to the fish, mostly. That's the biggest difference to me. Um, hmm, anything else? Great to see you enjoyed beer again. Okay, the food in Norway looks amazing. I've never been a big fan of sausage, but that reindeer sausage looks delicious. Yeah, somehow that reindeer sausage did look delicious. I don't know how they did that. It was like the most simple thing they had. And there was that, that brown cheese again. Man, that brown cheese. Most of this stuff is just, I bet it's delicious, but Americans visually aren't used to it so there's like a mental block like i was saying whereas you just have to get over it try the delicious food and uh learn to love it because it probably is genuinely worth trying it looks pretty amazing anyway very interesting uh, if you found this video interesting fun or anything feel free to give it a like or leave a comment and if you're interested in more videos like this me reacting to norway places in Norway, Norwegian culture, uh, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.